I like to think about where people's journeys started and how they've changed over time, um, or perhaps surprised them. So I, I wanted to think about um, when you were 21, if someone had told you that you'd be doing the work that you're doing now, would that have surprised you? And why? Or why not? Well, I've never quite known what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. And when I was in 21, I things were already in flux. What had you started to study? What path were you on? Initially, I did my undergrad in um, sociology and pre-medicine. Okay. And I finished early. And so my 21st birthday was in Pakistan, where I was taking some time off. Okay. And it what was were you doing in Pakistan? Uh, because I was interested in medicine, I was working in as a volunteer mm -hmm. in different projects. So in Pakistan, in Peshawar, with uh, a group doing vaccinations in Afghan refugee camps. Okay. And also a clinic for eyes. Um, so I didn't really have an idea of what, where I would go. I didn't end up going to medical school, obviously, um, and so I was, I was quite open. Okay, and tell us about sort of your next step after that. So as you didn't pursue medical school, what direction did you take instead at that kind of early time? There, I did a retreat with the Good Shepherd Sisters in Lahore in Pakistan and decided quite concretely I didn't want to get into debt, okay. um, and I hadn't obtained enough scholarships for medical school. Okay. And so I thought I wanted to study theology because I thought theology was about God. Okay. And I wanted to, you know, live more fully into my faith. Okay. And so I, I turned to that as, as the next topic of study. Okay. And it wasn't really about a career, it was just sort of the curiosity that I had at the time. And where did that take you geographically? So I had missed all the deadlines for scholarships except for one scholarship that was only good for the, this university. Okay. And so I applied, and that was the scholarship I later got. Okay. And so that brought me here, which was a bit of a shock. But um, yeah, it, it, for me, the place wasn't important. The topic of study was important. And what were the topics that really drew you at the time? So you said something about God, but was there perhaps a question that really, really drew your attention at the time? No, I think I didn't understand what theology was. So it was quite confusing when I began to study it, because okay. it seemed more about texts and, and less about you know, how to give oneself fully to God. Okay. At least it, it, that was my impression at the time. Interesting. And so it was quite a rocky adjustment okay. and I wasn't quite sure of its usefulness and I kept wanting to drop out. And okay. the person charged with the scholarships was, was very instrumental in convincing me to keep on with my studies because I came to the point of dropping out three times. Okay. So that was a, a lovely encouragement. And then you carried on, that was at the master's level, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. And then you carried on for the DPhil, or what was the process like from that, from I that first transition? I did a diploma in theology, because I'd never, never studied at all. And then um, did a master's in Christian political ethics, okay. focused on the World Bank's concept of poverty alleviation, okay. and looking at the Roman Catholic social encyclicals. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to extend that into a doctorate, um, a DPhil, which would then also include some more Protestant um, theological sources, okay. but that wasn't accepted as a DPhil topic, <coughs> so I didn't know what to do. But I had been, at the same time, auditing the development and the economics courses because of, of their emphasis on poverty. Okay. So um, again, a, a lovely woman in the department, Rosemary Thorpe, um, mm -hmm. suggested that I <coughs> do the qualifying exams to move into economics, and so okay. I did, and then I did the MSc in economics before I did the DPhil, because again, I hadn't studied properly before that. Okay. And if you hadn't taken a path that took you down this, what we could possibly call like an academic route, what, what other route do you think you might have taken? Medicine is one. Well, also in earlier, during the undergraduate, I spent a summer in Guatemala, okay. also in a medical placement, um, and dropped out of university at that time, briefly, um, and was very drawn to the contempl contemplative life and to a community of contemplative nuns. And I think that that's probably where I would have ended up in a different different option set. In a different life. 